everyone. That's better. They say women generally have a very powerful voice. Yeah? So again, show it to me that you have a really, really powerful voice. Good morning, everyone. You can do better, but at least uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so when they asked me to pre prepare a five-minute spotlight, I did prepare some visuals, yeah? So because what happens is words get forgotten, visuals are remembered, yeah? So we will, I'll go back because it seems to be moving much forward than my words. Um, Okay, so um, when people ask me who I am, where am I from, my name is Rashna Sempayo. They look at my first name and they say, Rashna Sempayo, sounds weird, where is she from? Yeah. So I'm originally from India. I left India about 25 years ago, lived in many different parts of the world, and it was just very hard for me to explain to people who actually I am. So I decided the easiest way to explain who I am, I'm a global citizen, a woman of a choice, a woman with a choice, yeah? Choice to be a mother, choice to have a career, choice to have opinions, choice to have aspirations, yeah? Um, over the years, I have formed very, very strong opinions, and I never, ever apologize for my opinions because they are mine. I'm a custodian of my brand. I'm a custodian of my own opinions. And I made the choice to join an organization that respects and value those choices that I have made in life. So that's why I work for Oracle. So let me talk about who Oracle is as a company and as an as a employer. So when you, at the end of today, you can make a choice. If this is the organization, you may want to come and join us. All right? So um, I am not into coding. I have never coded in my life. I have been in the last 18 years with the IT companies uh, in the information technology world. My kids say that I'm technologically challenged, but I worked with people who love technology. I am in human resources, okay? so. Oracle is an organization that is the leading edge technology from leading database to where we are now making headway into the cloud space. Uh, Serene this morning, our uh, managing director for Singapore, talked about we are uh, inventing different technologies, we are experimenting with different technologies, uh, we are innovating in different technologies. Uh, we are building complete, intelligent solutions, all right? So if you're interested in that, there is a booth at the back. Um, there are a lot of people from Oracle around. Get to know us, who we are as a brand. Now, what I am going to talk about is who we are as an employer. So many of you may not know our contribution to the education. So Oracle is the only tech company with two public schools in the world. So we have a design school at our own campus in San Francisco, which was inaugurated two years ago by Safra Katz, our CEO. And also in South Africa, we have a public school. We have Oracle Academy, through who we actually work with lots of universities uh, and schools in terms of providing technological support. Our employee success is by hiring the right talent, okay? We're very, very interested in you. We hire champions. Are you a champion? Yeah. Oh, come on, at least be proud of yourselves. Are you a champion? Yeah. Then we are very interested in you. All right, so um, Serene talked a lot this morning around a choice, right? The choices around career the choice around development. We are an organization that heavily develops our own employees through different development programs we have in the organization. We call it Future You. 
through our career framework is where we provide our employees lots of learning opportunities inside the organization. Many resources that you will have access to once you join Oracle as an employee. We do lots of employee engagement activities. Um, we celebrate Oracle Festival. Uh, we have lots of uh, parties. We do party a lot in Oracle. Um, we also understand that work-life integration is very important. Um, so we have something called Wellness Day. So you can see very colorful pictures. Am I getting you excited? Can be louder than that. Am I getting you excited? Yes. Fantastic. Um, we believe in diversity and inclusion. So from our DNI, we have our women leadership again at the back. You will see um, lots of pictures. We have an Oracle volunteers program. So if you have got enough interest, come and talk to us. We are very keen to hire you. Uh, we are very keen to talk to you. So with that, I'm told my time is up. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everybody. All right. Now they have a timer here, you know, just to remind me that I don't have a lot of time. What am I here to do? I'm here to tell you why Zalora is a wonderful place. We can't tell you our entire story. There's not enough time. So let's move. Next slide. <laughs> it's magical, you know. These numbers won't be possible if we do not have amazing people, amazing infrastructure. And we're going to tell you the difference we make. Next slide. <laughs> because the clicker can't reach this far, you see, so I need to use some magic. What difference do we make? I have a friend. She lives in Philippines. She takes four hours to drive to the shopping mall. She takes four hours to drive back home. And she may not have found what she needed. Zalora makes that difference. We bring affordable fashion, wide range of brands, two people. We improve their lives. We allow you to use fashion to express yourselves. Right, but all of this is powered by good infrastructure, good people, good engineering, and that is where I'm going to hand over the time to Lucy to tell you how we empower people. Lucy, please. Oh, well, um, I'm not sure if I can speak that fast. <laughs> okay, next slide, please. So, okay, so I'm here actually to tell you guys, like, why should you join our, our Zalora Engineering? So, in Zalora Engineering teams, we are actually give you a full access to the autonomy. So you got the, uh, you build it, you, you deploy it, and then you own it. So we give you a full access to whatever you need, and then, uh, yeah, you just own it. And then, uh, you have the, you have the, what do you call this? You have the freedom to choose and then, uh, to choose and explore the new technology, uh, which will give you a, what do you call this? Which will give you the, 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 the chance. Hmm? The freedom. Yeah, yeah it gives you the freedom and then it gives you the chance to. Uh, it's also like, uh, uh, what do you call this? Give you the, 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 uh, the, the experience, the breath. I think what Lucy is really trying what to say is that, you know, <laughs> so yeah, we, have we have the elements right there. <laughs> and then we also support the female empowerment. So, as you know, that the uh, male is the dominator in the IT industry. But in Zalora Engineering, we are actually have more than 30% 30 30 of our engineering team is actually a female. So yeah, girls can rock. And then we are a cross-functional team. So you learn a UI, UX, and then business, and also the technology as a one entity. Okay, next. And we, we solve an interesting and challenging problem every day. And we are very much a people focusing and most importantly, we give, back to, we give back to the community by participating and also like uh, hosting the, you know, like woman in court and also the product tank. And most importantly, next, we are hiring. <laughs> so we, are, we, we have uh, plenty of uh, developer opening right now. So if you, if you want a full, yeah, you can just scan it and then find more information on it. Then you can go to our booth at the back. So you can just find me and all my, my colleagues to find more in information. Oh yeah, and we are done it. Yep, and so if you want to work in a place that empowers you, that gives you autonomy, challenge, and also nice hangers to hang, you know, <laughs> A3 size printer papers, come and visit our booth. We can't tell you enough here, so come and ask us questions. Thank you very much. And we got donut. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. 
I'm from an energy company, but I don't have that much energy. <laughs> so my name is Priscilla. I'm Head of User Experience and Design in SP Digital, also better known as Singapore Power. We are the leading energy utilities company in Asia Pacific, and also one of the largest corporations in Singapore. Our business is in creating energy products, and we have a core mission. Next. And we have a core mission in sustainability. When we talk about sustainability, what comes to mind is environmental factors, climate change, it's all that, but in different industry, sustainability means different things. And in energy, our business and our work revolves around creating energy systems that can meet existing demands without compromising the abilities of future generations to meet their needs. Oh, this is just a beautiful slide. Next. <laughs> so very recently, we have launched a marketplace that allows people to buy and sell renewable energy certificates. And through this platform, Singapore Power is 100% green. And we have also recently announced, next slide. We have also recently announced that we are speeding up the installation of charging points around the island. A lot of us, a lot of people ask me, why are there not enough electric, electric vehicles? But I would ask them, how do you charge your electric cars if you buy them? So we are putting investment to help support electric vehicle adoption in Singapore. The, the slides before? Next. Okay. When we create products, our core principles is being user-centered. I'm a designer. We believe that if you want to create good products, the first thing you need to do is to understand the users that you are targeting. And one of the best ways to do that is to ensure that the employees in the organization is representative of the population. Next. So SP Digital is currently 120 people. We believe in diversity, not because it's right, not because it's trending, because we believe that including women in the organization have impact in terms of greater talent pool, in terms of being empathetic to our users, and in terms of broadening our perception. So my boss, Sao Xiong, or more affectionately known as the code father of Singapore, is really passionate about this, and I'm very proud to be part of an organization that is actively trying to change this. So, I believe that in this competitive landscape, it is no longer affordable for companies to be working in an echo chamber. And if you want to know more about our work, if you know, want to know more about our openings, check out our booth over there. I'll be around to answer questions that you have. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Celine. I'm running the data and innovation team in uh, Accenture in Singapore. Hi, I'm Eilina. I head diversity and inclusion, and I'm an HR business partner at AXA. So we won't bore you with a boring corporate presentation, even though we prepared some boring corporate <laughs> slides. <laughs> so this is our innovation uh, uh, center in AXA globally. We have like venture capital, we have startup studio, we have a huge data innovation lab with 100 data scientists based out of Paris and Singapore. And uh, I'm in charge of specifically uh, the Singaporean market. Uh, what is AI and data and insurance? What are the use cases that we're working on in data? Uh, we have developed AI model in terms of detecting fraud. Um, so working on efficiency, uh, controlling the claims cost, and uh, as well as uh, improving our customer experience. So the traditional cross-sell, upsell, but also uh, prioritization in our call center of the customer that are calling according to their customer lifetime value. And OK, so I, I, I cut the crap on the boring stuff. Uh, what do we do in data? So uh, we are at the early stage of our data journey. We are trying to transform the whole company. Uh, first thing, we're working on the infrastructure uh, with our friend from AWS and Tableau over there. Uh, we are deploying a huge data lake so people can have access to the data in the whole company. Uh, people and culture. Uh, we have kickstarted a super user program where we're going to train 10 to 20 percent of the workforce by next year in Tableau and Python in order to empower people with that data. So this is important to become data driven. 
and then the boring stuff on data governance, data management, and the use cases that I just mentioned earlier. So uh, please feel free to join us. We got uh, our uh, uh, career boost over there, and we got a great data uh, Pictionary game if you want to earn something. Okay, so what we have at AXA is woman at AXA. But look at how it's spelt here. Women at AXA, which is woman at AXA. It's about women and men as allies to succeed together. Remember that. What are we? We're an empowered and active employee resource group, right? Where we share our stories, we lean in together, we seek leadership support, we're one AXA, and all our men are he for she. This is very important. We have different gender diversity initiatives. Lean in. So when men and women come together, they lean in as a circle to achieve their dreams and goals. International Women's Day. Protégé, women's mentoring. I heard Louise talk about the importance of mentoring for women. Developing global leaders and he for she. So this is our data family and I wanted to leave you with some advice. At AXA, we are so proud. We have 63% women overall in our company. Amazing. Our leaders community. Yes, round of applause. Yeah. Woo! Women at AXA! 59% <laughs> women are in our leaders community. But let's talk real talk. At the top, at C-suite level, we have 20% women. So there is still a gap. All these things are helping us to close the gap but how we're going to close the gap today and in the future, it sits with you. I have three pieces of advice for you, what you can do as an individual, men and women, and particularly for women. Number one, I would say uh, seize opportunities. Don't hold yourself back. So when there's a promotion or there's a job, women tend to wait until they're nearly 100% ready. They meet 100% of all the requirements, right? Before they'll take the plunge. A man will go for it if he's 50 to 60% 50 to ready. So my advice to you is you need to get out of your comfort zone. You can never wait until you're 100% ready. One, don't hold yourself back. Yes, I see the time ticking, but this is important. Number two. Be shameless. Be shameless. I'm not saying go burn your bra or walk around naked, nothing like that. But be shameless because women, and especially Asian women, we feel a lot of shame. We're taught to be nice. We're taught to, th taught to think about the group collective. Don't be selfish. But your level of confidence needs to match your level of competence, right? So don't feel shame about asking for an opportunity, about asking for a sponsor, about asking for someone to back you, about sharing an ID, because a man doesn't feel this same level of shame. Be shameless. And number three, very, very importantly, men, are, men and women are in this together, right? We're not separate. We have to be allies. Convert men to be your sponsors so that you can all promote your talents together. Thank you. Please support Women at AXA and visit us at our booth. Have a Point good afternoon. Point Women at AXA! Yeah. Woo! Hi, everyone. Um, I'm JY. So I am um, the head of strategy and ops for the growth team. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what we do at Grab and at growth and um, my personal journey. So it's not going to be like, Oh, it's not really very conventional. So in grad, it's a bit like be shameless. When you ask, you get. So going to the presentation. Okay, so maybe there's no presentation. <laughs> um, so um, now I would like to share with you guys why I think grad is a place like no other. So first, I think we're very, very mission-driven, especially for women. The whole company actually started from Ling, our co-founder, um, realizing that there was no way for women to get safe transport in Malaysia. So I think the whole premise about trying to solve this pr 
problem for women just kind of shows how mission driven we are. We try to solve Southeast Asia's challenges with big data. I think this is a team in Indonesia and what's really interesting about our data is that we share a lot of it. We are in collaborations with um, URA, <clears throat> the World Bank in Philippines to try to solve a lot of congestion um, within the developing economies of Southeast Asia. Um, so not just trying to solve problems for transport and um, using big data. We, who we serve right now, we serve 7.1 million micro entrepreneurs um, across Southeast Asia. So those people include our driver partners, our delivery partners, agents. We have a massive agent network serving our rural Indonesia through Kudo and also merchants as we expand more into the grab food and um, grab pay space. So I think um, besides just transport, our ultimate aim is to serve 100 million micro-entrepreneurs in Southeast Asia within the next five years. And um, we are, you know, we need lots and lots of women to then join us and serve that mission. I think something very personal to me uh, when I did user research maybe three months ago in Indonesia was um, this divorced woman and she was like, hey, I have no way to earn a living because my, my husband doesn't pay alimony. And what she did was to pay for her children's, I guess, education and care, she applied to be a grab bike driver and she was like, hey, you know, people might look down on, on grab bike drivers, especially women in Indonesia, because you offer close bodily contact to like whichever passenger you pick up, basically. Um, but she's like, hey, I think this is a great way for me to earn a dignified living. And for me, you know, doing what we do, talk about big data, talk about technology, but what you see at the end of the day is the impact you bring to the people on the ground. And that, I think, is something Grab offers through our massive scale that it's very, very special, especially to me who like, grew up here in Southeast Asia. I feel like every day when I go to work, it's like, how can I make that impact to people living their lives here? <clears throat> so I guess the great leadership DNA is honor, heart, hunger, and humility. Um, I <clears throat> can't really talk a lot about it, but I think when, if you, when and if you do join, all our leaders do exemplify that and um, it's more about the willingness to serve as opposed to, hey, what can we like, get out of it together? Um, so we are very diverse. We have 40 nationalities, more than 40% women. And I think what I'm really, really excited to share with you guys is, um, so I come from a non-tech background, but <clears throat> having been in grad for the last two and a half years, um, it's been amazing to be part of um, Southeast Asia's opportunity to change our home screen. So you've, you guys probably saw it recently, but um, to be part of that opportunity has been super, super amazing because right now, like more than 100 million people in Southeast Asia have this app on your phone. So I think in Grab, you do get an opportunity to drive massive, massive change. And so I think the last part, hiring at Grab, very simple. There are only four steps. First, there's a technical screen, and then um, interviews, culture fit interviews, and lastly, probation. So if you guys want to find out more, uh, just head on to our booth at the back. Thank you.